Hi dolls, welcome back to my channel or my car dealership, whichever one you think is more fitting. So basically what I have here is my Barbie vehicle transportation collection that I want to show and also want to guide you all in maybe what to purchase for yourselves. As you can see, it can get quite, things can pile up quite a bit. If you would have asked me how many vehicles I have, I would have said five, and I clearly have more than five. So, um, and they're basically just collecting dust because I don't use them that much, to be honest. So yeah, just because you like the car doesn't mean that you're gonna use it. That is tip number one. So make sure uh, you're getting something that you actually want. <laughs> I mean, you, you want it, but make sure you're getting something you're actually going to use. So, this is not even a Barbie car. It's like one of those speaker things. But I got it from a garage sale for like $5. And we'll take a closer look. The wind is blowing, so very sorry for the sound quality. And there is the Barbie movie car, the remote control one. I kept it in there for a reason, so I guess this is this is tip number two. If you don't want your things to get dusty, keep it in a box. And I basically stored it in the box it came in, and but I made the outside like a garage. So I thought that was pretty clever. It's a good way to hide it, keep it safe, and um, keep it from getting dusty. All the rest of my vehicles are dusty, even the brand new one. Um, tip number three, I guess you can say, you could always color the car. You don't have to keep it bright pink, blue, purple, whatever, what have you. As you can see, my things tend to go neutral. I did not paint my Barbie vehicle, however, for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, but I guess you can. Did I have another tip number four? I don't know. Um, in this box is the new car I ordered yesterday, but I'm gonna talk about the rest. So if you wanna know what new car I ordered, even though clearly I did not need it, um, just keep watching. So here's that $5 speaker vehicle. Um, I would show you this on the road, but there's no shade in the road. So I'm, sh I'm sitting in the shade, it's still hot out here. The back opens and that is a speaker and it has, as you can see, some uh, print that mimics kind of like a Gucci print. Um, it is like, I, I think this is a Lincoln, yeah, Navigator. Yes, Lincoln right there. It needs to be cleaned up, but most of it is like um, dust from from just literally sitting there. Um, this is the inside of it. It has um, three rows of seats. So this row, that row, and then the back row. I haven't even tried this on the doll yet, you guys. Um, it has rims, very nice. It's already a neutral color. I can't believe I haven't been using this. It has under the hood. These are like wires for something, I don't know. But clearly I haven't used it as a speaker either. Um, custom gator. And then the mirrors move like that. Everything looks really nice. So, finally it's the reveal time. I've had this for like a year. Oh, look, I don't think it can go in there. Yeah. This is not even hollow. I've never even looked in here, you guys. I just bought it. It was like $5. I grabbed it, okay? <laughs> and yeah, I don't think it can even fit. So, oh look. What are the kids watching in the back? That's so cool. It has a TV. Oh gosh. <laughs> there was a dog <laughs> tied up behind us. I didn't even know it was there. Um, These doors open. I'm actually missing a thing, my bob. But they open. 
That looks really nice. But this one doesn't. So it's like, I'm not even sure how do you would get the kids in the back. However, standing up next to the car, the dolls look good. And, you know, I figured, you know, it'll be nice for like posing and pictures. So let me see what I can do with her because she does have bendable legs. Maybe they can fit in that way. Sadly, I cannot get her in. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. And maybe someone could use it for the, the original purpose intended, which is a speaker. <laughs> Unfortunately, it will not be me. Um, as you can see, I need all the space that I can get. So yeah, I will just be letting this one go. So this is the, this is how I have this one. Oh, I was like, where's the remote control? Remote control is inside. This is the remote control Barbie car. Y'all already know the Barbies can fit because it is for Barbies. This is a kid connection. The Barbies can fit. I have a video on this if you want to see it. This is also a kid connection toy. The Barbies can fit. Again, I have a video if you want to see that. This is a Mattel car. The Barbies can fit. If you don't cover your cars, this is the dust and debris that gets in your car. So it's worth it to cover your cars. Unless you want to do a lot of cleaning. Um, the Barbies can fit. You know this because it's Mattel. And I'm just trying to make the video go a little bit faster because it is still hot out here. And I have things to do. This is a Barbie... Um, helicopter that I got from a garage sale for really cheap probably like less than a dollar but I do have the plane so I feel like I should let this one go because I have the plane um this is a brand new car again very dusty because it's literally just sitting there I think not all the kids I have can fit in here and this is like um, a stuffy car, so TJ Maxx or whatever. Not every kid dog can fit in there, like Chelsea cannot fit in the back. But the doors open, the windows move. I don't think the trunk opens. The trunk does not open, but it's a Volkswagen Beetle. I think Steffi is a German doll and it looks really nice. I just never got around to painting it. Um, yeah, but it kind of is looking like the one I just got, except the other one I just got can't, it's not a four seater. And just so you know, it's rare to find Barbie vehicles nowadays with back seats. So I was super stoked when I got this one, but I hadn't done anything with it since. But I am gonna take a look at it now. This is a kit connection. The Barbies kind of fit, but the Kins do not. This is a Barbie tractor. Technically, it's not transportation. This is a bike from Hobby Lobby. As you can see, uh, it's much smaller than a Mattel bike. It's like half the size. On this bike, I think two dolls can fit. Like this is a second hand, so I'm not really sure. But since it's Mattel, then you know that at least one doll can fit. And I don't even know if it's Mattel to be honest. No, it's Simba. I see the, it's Simba, whatever. But um, this one's really cute and the dolls can fit on it. So I will be showing you that one. So excuse my ashy feet, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, this is another Hobby Lobby motorcycle. 
Ken dolls can fit on this, but I'll show you that one. And these are metal tabletop items. So when the metal, uh, the metal decor goes on 50%, that's basically when I buy those. And the bike was pink. I painted it white. So yeah. Since I didn't bring a, an articulated can with me outside, I'm just showing the Barbie on it. As you can see, it's a nice size. The only thing, I don't think the hands can fit. Like the arms might be a little bit short to reach the handlebars. So that's the only thing. And they had smaller sizes of these when I bought, at the time that I bought this one. So it's still a nice purchase to look into. I think I ke I'll keep it. So some of my characters, I know in the Good Seed, which is a doll skit that I'll be producing really, really soon. I already have the book for it. It's in the description below on Amazon. But Brooks has a motorcycle. So I know I'm going to keep this one for him. This bike is kind of small, but it's literally so cute. And in pictures, you can barely tell. So like, you know, whatever. <laughs> I still kept it because I like how it looks vintage and everything. So yeah, just keep that in mind if you are in the market for a bike. Now I'm going to show you what the dolls look like in here. Um, I hate seat belts. They're just like in the way. So I typically take it out every time I redo a car. I ended up taking his shoes off so he can fit in. But if you have an articulated doll and the feet point, then I don't foresee that being a problem. Um, the Kelly doll fit in, of course, and then the baby doll fits. It's just the Chelsea size doll that their legs are too long. It doesn't fit. So yeah. So, I don't know. I feel like it looks like the car that I just got. And I don't need to keep both of them. So, decisions, decisions. So, now that you see this one, um, I got this from TJ Maxx because it is a Steffi vehicle. So, Barbie doesn't have this. So, you will literally just have to go around and see, you know, where you can find this from. Okay, this is the Dream Ella Stardust Convertible. And yes, I think it's gonna fit everybody nicely. Well, it's not a, it's only a two seater, but I meant like the Ken dolls and everything. I really like how it looks, like this back hump in the back was just chef's kiss. Um, I really like how this was clear because on the Jeep, it's kind of hard to uh, see the doll. The, the thing on the Jeep obstructs the view, like it blocks the doll's head. So like when you're filming and taking pictures, you can barely see your doll's face. So I like how this is clear. Um, I like how the inside is black and tan it's like a neutral color that way when you remodel the car um you only have to worry about the pink shell yes so i really really like that so i was thinking about making this my mini me's car even though i don't have a convertible or a two-seater i just was liking how it looked and um i would only just paint it white And yeah, I just like it. So I'm gonna see like which, but yeah, that is where I am. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let's go over the tips again. So the first tip was be careful. I Oh, I think the first tip was put a dust cover on your car so it doesn't get dusty. The second tip was I do believe um, it piles up, so make sure you get the doll cars you actually need and will use so you don't have like 10 vehicles. 
you're trying to store at the end of the day. And number tip number three is you can always customize your car with paint. So yeah, if you like videos like this, just give us a thumbs up, um, like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I think that's where I am. Yeah, I'm only on Instagram and YouTube right now with my dolls. And the next time you see this car, it may be white. So I will see you dolls in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.